We're staying on top of a developing story. Phoenix police call our city the kidnapping capital of the U.S., claiming there was almost one kidnapping every day in 2008. But last night at 10 o'clock, the ABC 15 reporter team exposed that almost half the cases weren't kidnappings at all. Now this morning, Dave Biscabing tells us this could end up as a criminal investigation. Take a look. Phoenix is in the eye of the storm. In 2008, police said there were 358 kidnappings in the city. We have our victim inside the house. He's duct taped up. But we spent months looking closely at hundreds of those cases and found that that was far from the truth. They have a real problem on their hands. As a lawyer, I'd be comfortable making an argument to a jury that there was an attempt to pad some stats. We uncovered major discrepancies in cases that Phoenix police called kidnappings. More than 100 that experts say should not have been counted. And now the Department of Justice Office of Inspector General wants to know if inflated statistics were used on applications to get millions of dollars in federal grant money. I think they went too far. Former Maricopa County Prosecutor Kurt Altman helped us review many of the kidnapping reports. He also worked for several years in the U.S. Attorney's Office. Phoenix is getting audited, so now they have to speak for what they did. Federal investigators were just here at the Phoenix Police Headquarters a few weeks ago doing an audit of all the kidnapping cases. Now, officials in Washington said they wouldn't comment, but did confirm that their case isn't over and that it's still ongoing. The police department has refused to answer our specific questions about the reports we uncovered. I don't know why we well, can't discuss these. Obviously because there's an audit going on, and that's the main reason. But these are public record. These are things that you guys have promised are all accurate, so I don't understand what the issue is then. Well, as I've said, we're in the middle of an audit, and we don't want to discuss them. That's what we've said, Dave. In 2009, the Phoenix Police Department applied for two federal grants, totaling $2.4 million, and cited the kidnapping numbers as proof that the city needed that money. One grant for $747,000 funded a secret surveillance program. The other, $1.7 million to pay for the department's brand new kidnapping enforcement team. On the grants, you can see the signature of public safety manager Jack Harris. He signed and certified that all of the information and statistics were accurate. What Harris wrote in the grants is almost exactly what he and Mayor Phil Gordon told two congressional committees in early 2009. We dug up their testimony and found they asked for more federal money telling members of Congress, Phoenix police handle violent kidnappings every day. And that's not all we uncovered. We just got this email of a Phoenix commander saying that Jack Harris told him to stop spending remaining grant funds. So that leaves this question. What happens if Phoenix fails the Department of Justice audit? Experts say the police department could have to pay back millions of dollars plus fines or penalties. They also risk future grants and there's even the possibility of criminal charges. If you sign and swear to something uh, on a federal document, you're generally swearing under penalty of perjury. Somebody, you know, if somebody, if they determine somebody swore under the penalty of perjury, they could be in trouble. We've obtained copies of these grants, plus many of the questionable reports. You can see those for yourself on our website, abc15.com. Then tonight at 10, the audio tape. You'll hear a Phoenix lieutenant say she knew the kidnapping statistics were wrong, but reported them anyway. In Phoenix, I'm Dave Biscovic, ABC 15 News.